Welcome. Sorry. Welcome, friends, family, and fellow graduates. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing to join us in a moment of silence to honor Worcester Police Officer Manny Familia, a graduate of Doherty Memorial High School, class of 2001, who made the ultimate sacrifice in the line of duty on Friday as he selflessly tried to rescue a team from Green Hill Pond. Our thoughts and prayers are with his family, the Worcester Police Department, and the family of the team. Manny was a great kid who became a great man. Please remain standing for the national anthem. Good evening, Mayor Petty, Superintendent Venenda, School Committee Member Ms. Novick, Doherty Administration, faculty and staff, family members and friends, and the class of 2021. I am Mavi Kalani Mawang, the 2021 Senior Class President. class, I'd like to welcome you to our graduation ceremony. Thank you all for being with us tonight. It means a lot to all of us. Before I get started, I'd like to thank a group of young women who've, worked, who've been working tirelessly to make this event a success. Please let's hear it for the amazing senior class officers, Nicely Arose Nieves, Lois Obang, and Leona Antley. Thank you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, put Put your hands together for the most resilient group ever, the future leaders of our nation, Doherty's class of 2021.
and thank you for the honor to serve as your senior class president. I'm ecstatic to be here giving our graduation speech. I promised I wasn't gonna cry, but I'm afraid I can't keep that promise. Well, wasn't this past year the perfect manifestation of senioritis? Some would say we lived the dream with remote learning. However, I believe we've learned a lot in the past year under these abnormal circumstances. Learning the news of not having a senior year or activities such as prom was definitely devastating. It left most of us feeling hopeless. COVID-19 and the pandemic tested all of us inside our homes. We learned things about ourselves and the world that we needed to. And I truly believe that we will never forget about this year and how it affected us. No class has had to persevere as ours did. No class is as tough as our class is. And no class can say they overcame what we did. We finally make it. We thought senior year would be the year that we got everything we wanted, but instead, it is the year we realize everything we have and begin to appreciate it. Although this year has been a roller coaster, I would not have wanted to be a part of any other class. I am honored to be surrounded by such radiant and amazing peers, as well as outstanding and dedicated teachers and staff. I have seen so much growth from so many with all of the troubling social issues we have faced. We have advocated for Black Lives Matter and to stop Asian hate, becoming possibly the most politically charged class in the last four years. We all have made a mark in some way through either social media or peaceful protests. Personally, I have grown very fond and proud of us all. From the wise words of Henry Ford and shared with me by my track and field coach, Mr. Bennett, whether you think you can or think you can't, you're right. You will be the person who inspires everyone. I believe inspiration is the best motivation. If I did not see how hard my mom worked to get where she is, then I might not have developed the worth ethic I have today. I might not have dreamed as big as I did. That is another thing I love about our class. We have all dreamed big and refused to let our circumstances get in the way. I dream to become a defense attorney and I want to leave a legacy in law so great that it would encourage more young kids to go and chase their dreams and become someone great even with odds stacked against them. The change you want to see in the world should start in yourself. We cho choose what we make of our lives every day. Going to school throughout a pandemic has been de quite eye-opening. However, momentarily, we're all going to be walking across home plate because we chose to fight back. Adulthood comes next and it will definitely be scary, but we have been awaiting this moment for the last few years. We shall leave our mark on this world starting today. Thank you. I love you, Mom. <laughs> now I would like to introduce my dear friend who I will be attending Northeastern University with starting this fall, Nolan Mungovan. During, during his high school career, he has been varsity crew captain, varsity math team captain, and a National Honor Society member. So please welcome our class valedictorian.
Good evening, Mayor Petty, Superintendent Benenda, School Committee Member Ms. Novick, Ms. Maloney, members of the Doherty faculty, family and friends who have joined us here tonight in the Doherty Class of 2021. I believe I speak for every graduate when I say we have been waiting for this day since our first day in Doherty. But now that we are here, it feels like we are all still little freshmen scrambling the halls to our classes. People often get so caught up with the end goal that they forget to live in the moment. And just like that, these four years have slipped away into a moment in time, leaving only the memories behind. Time will always be ticking its way along, but it's up to each of us to make the most of that finite time we have. School has been a place for us to gain knowledge, but both the students and faculty have helped create a sense of community among the 340 students behind me. I will never be able to forget pollinating flowers with real bees in Ms. Bi Hill's biology class or the dozens of projects in Ms. Cochran's classes I could never seem to get just right. <laughs> Between the countless hours spent on group projects, in classes, and in study sessions, we have had thousands of experiences inside and out of Doherty that have challenged us to work hard and achieve great things. Even though the pandemic halted our junior and senior year, we were still able to celebrate our accomplishments thanks to the events planned by the <coughs> faculty at Doherty. We are so grateful to be here graduating at Polar Park for senior night, for all of the Highlander Pride events, thank you. These years have been made extra special by all of the caring staff members and administrators. Let's give it up for them. Despite the worldwide shutdowns and the unprecedented events over the course of our time as Highlanders, we remained optimistic, bright, and engaged, not only in our learning, but in our community. We have found a sense of belonging in many clubs, sports teams, and friends we found at Doherty. While it is bittersweet leaving those memories behind, we must forge gracefully onward to the next chapter of our life. Nicki Minaj once said, life is a prize, but to live doesn't mean you're alive. Make the most of the journey ahead of you. Wherever that destination is, you will always find your way there. But when you get there, be proud of the path you made for yourself, because that is what truly matters in life. As we part ways today, I wish the class of 2021 the courage in life to make decisions that gratify your ambitions and success in your future endeavors. Enjoy this moment for life. We did it. Congratulations to all of us. Ms. Sally Maloney has been a dedicated member of the Doherty community since 2001 and the principal of Doherty Memorial High School since 2002. Each and every day, she encourages and inspires us to be the best that we can be, to be kind to one another, to be supportive of each other, and to strive to make our school and our community a little bit better each and every day. Ms. Maloney takes the time not only to listen to us, but to really hear what we have to say. She treats each of us with dignity and respect, kindness and caring, and empathy and compassion. Please join me in welcoming our principal, Ms. Sally Maloney. Thank you, Lois, for that. Mayor Petty, Superintendent Benenda, School Committee Member Tracy O'Connell Novick and Diana Biancaria, Secondary Manager of Instruction and School Leadership Tim Sippel, Faculty and Staff of Doherty High School, Parents, Friends, Families, and Members of the Class of 2021. It's my distinct pleasure to welcome you to the 55th Commencement Ceremony for Doherty Memorial High School. Tonight is, a is truly a celebration of the accomplishments of the class of 2021. It's also a celebration of the collective efforts of all of the people who have contributed to the success of these students, especially during this past year, a year like no other. During the past year, we faced the pandemic with the belief that we are all in this together. And tonight, it is truly wonderful to finally all be here together in person for the first time in over a year. <laughs> On behalf of the entire Doherty High School community, please accept our most sincere gratitude 
to all those whose efforts have made this gathering possible. Thank you to the ownership and the leadership of the Worcester Red Sox and Polar Park, and to the leaders of the City of Worcester and the Worcester Public Schools for allowing us to be here this evening in this majestic setting to celebrate this milestone. Thank you to all of the Doherty staff members who helped to prepare for the events of this evening. Special thanks to Peter Bowler, Steve Bachalia, Judy Fairfull, Carol Hoffman, John DeLore, Dan Sullivan, Carolyn Waters, Jeff Weisenberg, and Ed Whalen. And thank you to the families of the members of the class of 2021. Your unwavering support, your hard work, and your patience through the many transitions of the past year have not gone unnoticed, and we appreciate it. You've done a tremendous job of providing these students with the support, the love, and the guidance needed for them to become such a wonderful group of young people. We We are honored to have been entrusted to be a part of their journey and to share this journey with you and are grateful to you for choosing to have your family be a part of the Doherty family. Thank you to the entire staff of our school. They maintained their commitment to our students and to the Doherty community while handling the challenges of this past year with grace and dignity. The leadership team, the faculty, the counselors, the clerical staff, the custodians, the nursing staff, the cafeteria staff, and all of the support staff work tirelessly and collaboratively to respond to the rapidly changing guidelines, schedules, educational models, transition patterns, period 15, lunch locations, bus schedules, and all of the various components necessary to ensure that effective teaching and learning occurred both online and in purpose, and in person, in a manner that was supportive, safe, and in compliance with state and local guidance. I am grateful for their support, for their ability to adapt and adjust, for their flexibility and fortitude, and for their dedication and devotion to the students and families of our school. There are four members of our staff who have upcoming retirement plans. They are Celia Demers, Bill Farocco, Ernie Letizio, and Dan Lynch. Your daily presence will be missed, but your commitment to teaching and learning has made an impact of the lives of many students that will continue for a long time. You will always be a part of our Doherty family, and we wish you good health and a wealth of happiness. and most importantly, to the members of the class of 2021. Thank you for your commitment to your schoolwork, to each other, to your families, and to our school. The past 14 months or so certainly have been like no other. From the packets and the unit plans of remote learning last year, to the online learning and increased use of technology this year, followed by the move to hybrid learning and to in-person learning, you have shown that despite the challenges and changes you've encountered, you've maintained your commitment to your education and to yourselves, regardless of the educational model that you selected. You have certainly worked hard to meet your goals, and in the words of, words of Red Sox great Ted Williams, no one has come up with a substitute for hard work. Your diligence has brought you here tonight, and your perseverance and persistence will serve you well as you embark on the next part of your journey. Although your time at school was limited, you have repeatedly demonstrated your commitment to your talents and strengths, to your classmates, and to your school, both during online and in-person learning. Despite being unable to participate in all of the activities associated with senior year, the class of 2021 has represented our school and our community well and has set the bar high for those who will follow. 
We are proud of you for both your efforts and your achievements. Our time away from one another has surely resulted in some losses, but it has also led to some increased appreciation for the things we may have taken for granted previously. The simple things in life, such as friendships and spending time with people you care about and just being able to share a laugh or a few moments together are all things we now hold a little bit closer to our hearts. I am pleased that we were able to hold class night under the tent on our field. While we had to hold the event over two nights in order to comply with capacity limits, it was heartening for the staff and for me to be able to see you having fun together. I am so grateful that we are able to celebrate all together this evening. As you move forward from here, please be sure to thank those people who have supported you along the way. Saying thank you doesn't cost anything, but it's so valued and appreciated. As you go through life, try to be that supportive person for someone else. We are counting on you to help to make this world a better place, and you have proven that you have the skills to do it. Whether your future plans include college, the military, or the workforce, you surely have what you need to be successful wherever life takes you and whatever it is you choose to do. To quote Jamie Foxx's character, Joe Gardner, in the Disney Pixar movie Soul, life is full of possibilities. You just have to know where to look. Congratulations and thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce our next speaker, Mayor Joseph M. Petty. Mayor Petty is serving his fifth two-year term as mayor and his twelfth two-year term as city councilor at large. He is also the executive secretary to the Employees Retirement System of the Massachusetts Housing Finance Agency. Mayor Petty grew up in Worcester and is a graduate of Holy Name Central Catholic High School. He received a Bachelor's of Science in Business Administration from Nichols College and a law degree from the New England School of Law, Boston. He and his wife, Gail, are the parents of two sons, Andrew and Joseph, and their daughter, Nicole. Please join me in welcoming Mayor Joseph M. Petty. Thank you, Nishali. Superintendent Boone, Principal Maloney, staff and administrators, Dr. Sippel, uh, Tracy Novick, Diana B. and Care from the school committee. Just welcome everybody to Polar Park. It's a great night tonight, first graduating class at Polar Park, home of the Woo Sox. I want to thank Dr. Charles Steinberg and the Red Sox organizations for doing this. It's, it's a great night tonight. Uh, good evening, students. You'll soon be graduates. I want to add my congratulations to those of the other speakers tonight. I had originally planned to give a different remarks tonight, but events over the last few days have changed that. After a year amid COVID, I want to talk about how uncertain life is and how fragile it can be. I think it is important to remember what's the police officer, Manny Familia, a true hero who gave his life in an attempt to save a young boy. He sat where you are sitting 20 years ago. As Warren Buffett once said, you know, people talk about this being an uncertain time. You know, all time is uncertain. I mean, it is uncertain back in 2007. We just didn't know it was uncertain. It was uncertain on September 10th, 2001. You just didn't know it. So cherish your family and your friends you just don't know what life may bring. This has been a long and strange year, from our parents and teachers to yourselves. We have all weathered a year of political challenges, economic uncertainty, civil rights struggles, and climate change fears. You have gone th through all of this while learning remotely for the first time, applying to college, and learning towards your, and learning towards your future. I want you to know how proud I am of all of you. 
I want to recognize the tireless efforts of our teachers, administrators, and our parents here tonight. You have all juggled the same concerns as our students, worrying to teach over the internet, sometimes while caring for elders or children who could not go to daycare or senior programs. As we are getting back to normal, we will not forget the sacrifices that you made to keep the most vulnerable residents of our city safe. There are numerous highlights, both academic and athletics, in this class, from the winning seasons that many athletes had this last year, and there are millions of dollars of academic scholarships represented by these students. These students will be going to some of the most prestigious colleges and universities in the country, as well as pursuing careers in the military or going on to the workforce. This last year and a half has certainly been an interesting time. I saw an unprecedented outpouring collaboration and cooperation through partners, partnerships and realization that we are, we are stronger together. Our resilience can be found in each other. Our resilience can be found in our families and in our community. We joined together to help each other and knew the celebrations like tonight are the rewards of our work. Because we listened to the doctors and public health experts, we are here today. Because many of us took, this, many of us took us the step of getting the vaccine, our city and our state and, and our country is slowly coming back. So beyond saying congratulations, let me say thank you to the graduating class. Thank you for doing your part to keep our city safe and letting life come back to normal. If this year has taught us anything, it's that you can endure anything. You are strong and you are resilient. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce our next speaker, school committee member, Tracy O'Connell Novick. <laughs> Ms. O'Connell Novick is serving her fourth term on the Worcester School Committee. A graduate of Smith College and Boston University, Ms. Novick taught high school English and history before spending several years at home raising her children. Ms. Novick, a certified school business administrator, works as a field director for the Massachusetts Association of School Committees. She and her husband, Colin, have three daughters. Their daughter, Mara, is a member of the Doherty High School class of 2021. Please join me in welcoming Ms. Tracy O'Connell Novick. Good evening. On May 18th, the Boston Globe printed a piece about how challenging it is this year to be a graduation speaker. The range of impacts of the pandemic over this year means that creating a single narrative is difficult, if not impossible. We can but try. Sitting here among us are some who have lost people close to them due to the coronavirus. With more than half a million deaths nationally and three and a half million deaths globally so far, and both still rising, that loss is a scar that many bear. And if it is yours, you have my condolences. Mourning this year has been particularly lonely. There are those among us who have either themselves or have someone close to them who still bear the impacts of having fought the virus. And there are those among us who have lost places to live, lost jobs, lost their homes, lost income, went hungry, were cold, and suffered profoundly over the course of this year. And the pandemic suffering was added, and disproportionately so, to the impacts of structural racism in a year in which that only became clearer as a burden, and in a country so divided that the peaceful transition of power was threatened severely earlier this year. 
The pandemic, though, impacted us all, and those smaller losses that we mourn are still valid. The holiday meals not shared, the athletic games not played, concerts not given, those are losses as well. And so are the smaller things, the conversations at locker or over class or before lunch and chance meetings in the hallways. We lost those things this year. The question before us all, not only you, class of 2021, is what are we going to do with that now? How are we to move forward with differences in loss, in grief, even in anger? To whom much is given, much is expected. One of the silver linings of the past year has been the moments of grace the past months have given us. Thurgood Marshall said the measure of a country's greatness is its ability to retain compassion in times of crisis. And we've seen many examples of that here in Worcester. Community members creating mutual aid Worcester, the creation of now four community fridges, Worcester families feeding families, the immigrant and refugee food pantry, the Creedon family's donation of tents to the mustard seed, and the outpouring of community efforts to keep our students fed are all examples of those who had giving to those in need. If you are among those for whom these past months has not been devastating, let me then urge you to see yourself as someone from whom much is expected. Let me suggest that you look outward to find what it is and where it is that you and your work and, yes, your resources are needed and urge you to fill it. Let me also remind you, graduates, of this. The Massachusetts State Constitution, as written by former Worcester school teacher John Adams, has required that the city of Worcester educate you for the past 12 years. Yes, 12. Kindergarten isn't included. It has done so not for your own benefit, which isn't actually mentioned at all, but for the preservation of our rights and liberties. That is, you were educated at the public expense in order for us to continue to have a democratic government in Massachusetts. And why do we have such a government? The state constitution opens by telling us why. The end of the institution, maintenance, and administration of government is to secure the existence of the Bali politic, to protect it, and to furnish the individuals who compose it with the power of enjoying in safety and tranquility their natural rights and the blessings of life. We are responsible for one another. Here at the end of your public education in the Worcester Public Schools, it is your time and your turn to take up the work of governance with us. Please join us in ensuring that all may enjoy in safety and tranquility their natural rights and the blessings of life. And congratulations to you, class of 2021. Mrs. Maureen Beninda is a passionate advocate for community engagement and service and shares that passion with the students of the Worcester Public Schools in her role as a parent, a teacher, an administrator, and now as our superintendent. Her commitment to the students of Worcester and her belief in providing opportunities for success for all students has guided her work with the Worcester Public Schools. 
Mrs. Benenda earned a Bachelor of Science degree and a Master of Education degree from Fitchburg State University and a Master of Education degree in Administrative Planning and Social Policy from Harvard University. Please join me in welcoming our superintendent, Mrs. Maureen Benenda. Welcome to the graduates of the class of 2021. Mayor Petty, school committee members, Tracy O'Connell Novick and Diana Bincheria. Principal Sally Maloney, secondary supervisor Tim Sippel, Doherty High School staff, and family and friends of our graduates. Thank you to the parents, the grandparents, and caregivers of our graduates for partnering with the Worcester Public Schools as we all learn to navigate remote learning. Thank you for learning about Google Classroom and providing support and tutoring to your child. Thank you for sharing with our staff so many helpful conversations about your child. Thank you to Principal Sally Maloney, her administrative team, and the entire staff of Doherty High School. You shared your homes and classrooms with our students and their families. You attended hours of professional development to learn new practices using technology so you could provide the best education for your students. You established a trust relationship with our students and families that supported the growth of every student. Please join with me for a round of applause for the parents, the caregivers, and the Doherty High administrative team and faculty. <laughs> Graduation at Polar Park is a victory for all of us here today. We are all here present to celebrate with the graduates. I share with you a story. On March 15th, students with complex special needs returned to in-person schooling for the first time in one year. As the special education bus opened the door in the school parking lot, of one of our elementary schools, students exited the bus with excitement. The last student emerged from the bus. His smile could be seen through his eyes. He raised both his hands in the air in a rocky pose and said, we made it, we made it. He then proceeded to give his teacher a huge hug. This student captured what we are thinking today and what we all need. Graduates, you made it and we all send you a large Worcester Public School Polar Park hug. <laughs> Throughout our experience during the pandemic, we all share two common things. We learn to get better at doing something and we learned what we miss most. Like me, you may have explored how to be a gardener, grow vegetables, herbs, or flowers. You may have become a better cook, experimented with making old family recipes, 
developed your own recipes, made homemade bread or some special cookies. You may have learned to play an instrument, achieve mastery at video games, communicate using social media, increase your computer skills, learned how to ride a bike, take longer walks, organize your closets, clean your room, become a writer, or developed a love of reading. We learned we need each other. We needed to see our friends, to reach out, and to be near those who love us and whom we love. We felt sadness at the story as those who lost their lives. I ask you tonight to not forget what you learned. Make a commitment to continue to expand and improve those skills. Continue to be a communicator, a grower of positive energy. Look for moments every day to celebrate. Know that making and continuing positive relationship with others is important. Kindness is needed every day. It can make a lasting impression on our lives and others. When a problem or challenge happens, even when it seems impossible to solve, think clearly, ask the right questions, collaborate with others you trust, find a solution. Celebrate all moments of bravery, no matter how small. We never know when we will be called to help another out. Reach out to make that difference. Manny did not know he would become a Worcester hero. The call came and he answered. Ralph Waldo Emerson wrote this quote a long time ago, but it is so relevant today. To laugh often and much, to win the respect of intelligent people and the affection of children, to earn the appreciation of honest critics and endure the betrayal of false friends, to appreciate beauty, to find the best in others, to leave the world a bit better, whether by a healthy child, a garden patch, or redeemed social condition. To know even one life has breathed easier because you lived. This is to have succeeded. Be well and be successful. Congratulations to the class of 2021. The, the members of the class of 2021 have received numerous awards, scholarships, and well-deserved recognition. To memorialize the resilience, tenacity, and endurance demonstrated by the, demonstrated by the members of the class of 2021 during this year, a year like no other, a lasting tribute will be dedicated to all of the members of this class in the new school in your honor. Surprise. Hopefully it will serve to encourage those who follow to emulate your abilities to overcome difficulties and to inspire resiliency among others. It will be more permanent than the 2021 sign that you made on the lawn at school a few days ago. But I truly did appreciate the inspiration and I admire your creati creativity, so thank you. Um, on my way here tonight, I saw a bumper sticker on a car that said, something wonderful is about to happen. And it's true. At this time, we will begin the presentations 
of the diplomas. Thank you. The valedictorian, Nolan Mungovan. Class president, Mabi Moang. Class vice president, Lois Oban. Secretary, Leona Antwi. Treasurer, Nishali Nieves. And now students who graduated with high honors. Al-Walid Al-Habib. Anne Ama Antwi. Farid Ayoud. Ann Aquino. Maria Bonham. Colby Bartley. Seamus Bisnett. Alexander Boutros. David Brissette. Quinn Nu Fan Bui. Nathaniel Bushy. Noah Callery. Lolita Kani. James Cannon. Sophie Chauvin. Madeline Chang. Vizarian Sika. Ashley Cloutier. Gersian Kolaku. Irene Colon. Jordan Conrad. Ronette Cruz. Fatima Dafe. Elaine Darby. <laughs> Natalie Dervisian. <laughs> Sean Durkin. <laughs> Mia Georgina Valerie Engel. <laughs> Joseph Evacious. Chloe Flibbert. Maxwell Fife. Lily Jajinski. Isaiah Godin. Melanie Heath. Araceli Herrera. Melchistek Hilton. 
Sokol Hoxha. Tron Tin Fan Gwyn. Lucarius Santos. Riley Jerome. Ava Kadrui. Evan Karkasinas. Demetrios Kennedy. Vasilios Kladas. Georgios Constantino. Angela Croy. Sophia Kiriatsis. Tyler Van Lai, Sarah Rose Lapierre, Tanas Lara, Seamus Leary, Thomas Lira. Sam Lipka, Mikkel Lolo, Liv Maloney, Crystal Mejia, Jaitza Morales. Joe Smith Muthomi Mugo. Winnie Faith Muiri. Vanessa Munoz. Michelle Maruki. Maxfield Mandela Nato de Cruz. Tianj Nakazwe. Ashley Ngasa. Elena Wynn. Deja Win Denise Win Jordan Nguyen Kenny Nguyen Evelyn Nibatanga Angela Njunga. Mara Elizabeth Novik. Margaret Claire O'Day. Matthew Ober. Efrazini Paleologos. Amanda Guerrero. Win Pham. Rodolfo Pineda. Jessica Poiser. Abigail Prendergast. Desiree Pressy. Braylon Ramos Mota. 
Catherine Reedy. Kyle James Reel. Joanna Ripa. Jaylene Rivera. Amelia Mary Rodriguez. Zipora Zampuma. Colin Kenneth Schoen. Naomi Scherzer. Elion Shola. Thomas Christopher Short. Benjamin Smola. Arissa Sote. Fabjola Sote. Christina Soder. Antonia Tolcucci. Victoria Torconu. Nehemias Torres Pacheco. Kayla Traeger. Lan Huen Huen Tran. Ashley Tucker. Edward Nana Twim Barima. Michael Vateragian. Claudi Varfi. Duong Tu Vo. Vincent Vu. Madeline Elizabeth Wanet. Carlin Grace Whalen. Ainsley Grace White. Jamira Monet Williamson. Reed Winja. Eleni Christina Zuppi. Kendrick Tram Zwan. Despina Zidro. Xavier Zinkovich. And now the students who graduated with honors. Kylie Jordan Anger. Cassidy Arbuckle. Tawny Aviles. Nayeli Noemi Baez. George Sarkis Balian. Hanaya Barjolo. Alexander Barkley. Derek Belpidio. Dominic Belsito. 
Gabrielle Bestica. Abigail Rose Brennan. Dominic Brindisi. Franklin Carreno. Sean St. Chambers. Naya Elise Calazzo. Dominic Canole. Tori Jean Kramer. Hayatula Darwishi. Caitlin Demand. Jonathan Bao Duong. Sienna Jade Figueroa. Grady Freeman. Afia Frempong. Zachary Giannakis. Clevy Joni. James Hammond. Alexis Haston. Melvin Hidalgo. Jenna Marie Higgins. Shaylin Rose Hoy. Kevin Della Kemma. Narmeen Khaled. Biniak Kariwada. Kwan Hu Lee. Sean Michael Lewis. Vincent Lee. Armida Mail. Azana McLean. Ida Nicole Mejia Checo. Jonathan Mejia Zelandia. Richard Mensa. Allison Rose Miola. Emmanuel Kofi Mfum. Megan Joanna Mary Molly. Thomas Vincent Murray III. Joel Boafo Nanakobi. Read this name next. Luis Antonio Ortiz Masonette. Joshua Napoleon. Tess Ruth Noonan. Bismarck Oduro.
David Pedano. Yannick Plassi. Ethan Pooch. Igo Enrique Silva Rawson. Grace Ruth Riley. Sylvia Rodriguez. Cesar Angel Valentino Rodriguez. Maya Angel Rosario. Emily Santiago. Dejvis Shehu. Nicholas Sotoropoulos. Kelvin Stako. Rachel Rose Stuhler. Henry Sula. Rizarda Tarusha. Alicia Marie Torres. Aiden Tucker. Mateo Nicholas Vera. Spencer Owen Walter. Tomas Christopher Zeigmund. Riham Raid Hamid Al Badri, Gabriel Coelho Almeida, Gabriel Andre Alvarado Leon, Eliahu Netanel Anina. Ebenezer Kofi and Koma Giao. Theori Arapi. Mark Akofo Asante. Douglas Jordan Ashton Jr. Jonte Arnez Atherley. Devin Allen Auger. Mansur Bakalu. Natalie Anita Baez. Bruno Elich Barrera Guerrero. Deborah Bermudez Elgarin. Michael Joseph Bittar. Zania Nicole Black. Louis Yaxiel Bonilla. Abby Troy Brunel.
Isaiah Moni Bryan. Patrick Almeida Cardoso. Elijah Jameson Caesar. Katie Maria Sicilian. Chloe Ryan Cogswell. Elijah David Cole. Micah Jesus Cole. Tristan Nathaniel Kumi. Emily May Coughlin. Yatsabeth Sherelise Cuevas Crespo. Brenda Pauliana Cunha Oliveira. Rawaid Akram Dabul. Wafa Dabul. Rima Darko. Jason De La Cruz. Christian Bolivar Delgado. Hudson Dos Santos Freire. Khalil Nicholas Drawn. Janine Tariq El Rifai. Kayla Lynn Etwaru. Nicholas Andrew Falk. <laughs> Kobe Tobias Fabri. <laughs> Messiah Feliciano. Taylor Lynn Figueroa. Lillian Jordan Fillmore. Alasia Tatiana Florencois. Thomas Martin Flynn. Joel Kwasi Fosu. David Paul Robert Francis. Owen Ricciardi Gallagher. Nathan Joseph Geddes. Trinity Samaya Graham. Jaheem Akeem Green. Shadrach Austin Green.
Madison Rose Gregoire. Nia Matala A. Gunan. Aiden Rain Gazudi. Jaden Hale. Garrison Hernandez. Nathan Raphael Hernandez. Yair Sarita Hernandez. Christopher Michael Ananelli. Cheyenne Sky Jackson. Brittany Yahira Jarama Castillo. Harold Matthew Jean Baptiste. Nazak Hussein Kaid. Elijah Colombo. George Kashish. Logan Patrick Kiley. Dante Kubicki. Kendrick Griffith Kufa. Eric Vaughn LaRose. Richard Lavandia. Cameron M. LaBelle. Rain Elizabeth Lenahan. Caden Joshua Londino. Emily Catherine Mahan. Arap Kaul Majak. Arnaldo Samuel Mate Mendez. Eddie Angelo Matusi. Liam Joseph McDonald. Dimitri Michael McPherson. Hector Yabdel Medina Serfa. Miliangi Enid Mejias. Heidi Melitas. Nathea Mariana Marvilas. Jamel Usman Mohammed. Felix Moyet Jr. Emma Marie Murray. Vincent Tan Nguyen. Junio Nicasio.
Joseph James O'Connell. Mackenzie H. O'Connor. Trevor Lyndon O'Keefe. Tyler Shane O'Neill. Linda Osa Opon. Juan Jose Ortega. Catalina Maribeth Ortiz. Xavier Miguel Ortiz. Emil Gabriel Ortiz Amparo. Crystal Nicole Otano. Samantha Mary Perlman. Rusbert Peralta Diaz Valdepares. Winona Quinn Vai Fuang. Imani Layla Plant. Joshua Jason Portillo. David Paul Prampin. Sharon Rizel Putri. Maya Madison Elizabeth Rajot. Christian Ramos. Omar Alexander Regalado Jr. David O'Neill Reyes Andino. Elario Luis Rivera. Gianna Barbara Rouse. Akram Saad. Conrad James Saez. Alexis Yomar Sandoval. Emily Elizabeth Santiago. Naman Sarwar. Kyle Jordan Sawyer. Sierra Lynn Schmidt. Matthew Scott. Koya Shimizu. Demias Elijah Susi. Jacob Michael Staples. Olivia Sophia Staples. Suren Tamang.
Leah Marie Tassi. Alex John Taylor. Brian Tejeda Vasquez. Tiffany Nina Thibault. Jabari Darius Thomas. Sophia Tico. Sedona Louise Tishon. Jusair Julius Titus. Marissa Natalia Tanelli. Iva Tertulli. Fabian Alejandro Valencia. Yarielli Valentin. Juan Candido Valera. Jairon Emmanuel Vega. Jalen Lynette Villanueva. Sturgios Vozikas. Miriam Omar Walid. Stephen Bernard Wessling. Ashley Theta Nicole Wilson. Elvis Salvador Zepeda Solorzano. Superintendent Benanda, it is my pleasure to present to you Doherty Memorial High School's Class of 2021. 